<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Christine, I see here, and my husband Matt. We're here for a van update. What well, kind of a van update? Yeah, I wish there was more to update. <laughs> but, you know. We do too. We wish we could tell you more, but we wanted to actually touch base with all of you and say and tell you some of the things that we've been doing to prepare for our van. And now, if you haven't checked out the first series or the first season of the van series of the decision buying the options or wish list, go check it out. I highly recommend that because we are actually going step by step through the process and you're actually feeling our emotions because we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, emotions are waiting. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. Now we've chosen you would like to be able to start, but you can't, we're waiting. We have no idea if and when our van's gonna get built. You know, so to catch you back up a little on that, we ordered a van back in October, right. ordered a Ford Transit. Yep. And um, so you place the order, they start, produ it's a 2022, so they're gonna be produced obviously this year. And Ford then starts putting things together and starts building them. They've started building them just about now, but we don't know when ours is gonna get built. It sounds like basically the process that they go through is they build like things together. They're building all the e-transits or most of them first. Then they're building gas transit that are all similar. Every week Ford previews orders and says, you know, hey, we might build this. And then they go ahead and give it a build date. Ours has been previewed once, but not chosen to be built. Right. So we're sitting waiting. And in the process of that, there's a lot to do still as far as getting ready. We're pre-ordering a number of things, yeah. um, doing floor plans. I mean, but so we're trying to get ready. Just to track back, just to let you know, if you did order a van, some of them, some, not all, but they're already projected not until April. And the, it could get pushed even further. Right, the ones that we've seen. So I'm on a forum and the person we ordered it from is on this forum and he looks at all the orders he has and he has 50 transits ordered and he posts on there uh, you know, about things that are previewed and kind of what's going on at the factory. And right now, yes, anything that's being pulled, they were getting build dates. Um, the week they're, build, they're projecting now is the middle of March, but they just pushed a bunch of gas transits back to April that were scheduled even in February. Right. push back to April. It sounds like they're building a whole new fleet of e-transits first. So ours hasn't even been selected, but right now it looks like even if it is, we're it's looking at the end of April, early May is the earliest we're going to get it right. built. So then we still have to build it out. So again, we're trying to get as much ready as yeah. we can we're trying to ahead be patient, of time. So. Well, yeah, I mean, barely. We don't have a choice. What are, yeah, what are you going to yeah. do? We can't make this happen any other different, you right. know, or in any other way. So it's just, but, we're at the mercy of when they're going to get it done. But in the meantime, we actually are still preparing, like in our minds, we're going for our floor plan. I'm still researching a lot of van videos, which thank you, by the way, it's been a, such a joy because we also pick up on the items you use and we kind of research it ourselves to make sure if that's what we're going to use or not. And um, maybe the next video will go over some of the people that we do watch and we are, you know, kind of following in their, in their suit. So, but we did, <laughs> This is kind of cool. I, I needed this. I need a visual kind of layout of what's going to happen in the van so I can have an idea of what's going to fit and what won't. Well, that was part of the process of deciding what length. Right. We put the floor plan out there. You know, we tried to decide what we would need, but it's hard to decide where the bed is, how big this is, how, whether it be enough room or not. So whether you need an extended, which is a couple feet longer or a standard, right. it helped us putting the floor plan together. And you can see there's a box over here. Yep. That's the box that the refrigerator came in. We used yep. that and the, one of the battery That's boxes the and stuff just to put in here to try to decide on how things would fit. Yep. We even had a luggage out here to see. So if we do take a, our luggage, we go to a VRBL, we can easily store the luggage. Right. And then we also have a area for our dog. Yeah, so we taped all that out on the floor, and we'll show you some photos of it. Yeah. Taped all that out on the floor to help us decide, you know, again, number one, what size, but then also the things that we want to order. Will these things fit or not? Yeah. Our last van update, we showed the garage. We have some lifts. What are they called? Oh, no. No, scaffolding. Scaffolding to get on top of the van easier. And then since we sold the RV, we have that room, that storage to fit the van. Right. The van won't fit in our regular garage here. It no. just, it's just, it's too tall. So we'll have to put it up in our, our, our storage building. Right. Cause so a lot of things had to take an action before to make sure we can actually do the van, work on the van, mm -hmm. everything that we want to do with the van. 
Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's going to be it's it's going to be a fun project. I've actually got some new projects that that coming up here that to kind of get ready for the van. Yep. Um, some extruded aluminum projects and so forth. So yep. we'll share some things about that. Those are coming up, so. which I'm excited about because then it kind of gets us in the right in the thought process the of what we're doing mood. and how it's going to work. And you know, I we just watch it. And the Thursdays are the day they pull vans. Thursdays and Fridays when you get noticed that your van's going to get built. So every yeah. Thursday we're, you know, scrolling through the emails and looking yeah. on the forums and praying ours is going to get picked, you know, yeah. um, and who knows? I mean, it might not be till the end of the year for all we know. Right. Which is why well, I'm happy we kept the minivan just yes. because we do have We still want to take some trips. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're going again soon. So, yep. yeah. yeah. So that is what's going on. I hope this kind of satisfies you guys why there's not a lot of fan videos here. Well, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we're just sitting waiting. I mean, there's nothing more we can do. I can give you a, a weekly update. Nothing happened. Yeah. You know, you'll be like, wow, so, it's so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But here we wanted to actually show you a little bit of our floor plan. Now this can change because we want before we decide on anything major, we need the fan van physically here well the other thing is is we drew out the floor plan based on the size of the floor at, at what should be its thinnest you know because the walls actually it goes out a little bit there's pockets in there and the ceiling is a little bit of different width so some of this might not work out exactly how we'd like and we might have to alter but i tried to give us a couple inches of, of wiggle room on each side of everything so that way we could easily make adjustments you know so hopefully right. it'll work out no matter what um, but again, once you get the van and you realize the curve, we found that in the minivan, the back curves up so much that even though you get a seat and you think, Hey, I could sit up here, the back curves back. You have to push it forward enough to use the right. light. So the head space is there. Right. So, yeah. well, let's get to showing you our kind of semi well, the, floor Yeah, plan. our floor plan, what we're gonna, hoping we're going <laughs> to do. All right. Welcome to the van. You are standing looking backwards, although you can't stand there because you're in the front of the van. So passenger seat here driver's seat there okay the red line marks out the floor of the van not counting the wheel wells okay so that's basically the design there now the blue line the light blue line represents what we would have set up higher okay as far as um, this is going to be a l-shaped bench seat and our intention is is with the sliding door here to have it open this way so this is then the L-shaped bench seat. And then behind that, you will have a cabinet here, sink here, and then a full height cabinet here. This side over here will be full height also. This is where the refrigerator goes. And then this is another cabinet. The electronics, battery and so forth, will go up in this corner. And then the electronics then will be here and here leaving then under storage underneath the bin for luggages. Now, this then is the pathway back. We actually, to get from the front to the back, you will have to go over top of the seating area. There will not be a full walkthrough. You'll actually have to turn and, we, the, and then come up over top of this bench seat. It'll have a back on it in this part of it and then no back necessarily on this. This is more for your feet or just sitting. And then storage over here, well, this will flip up, there'll be storage underneath. And then this little area will be with the, where we'll have a little storage where the dog, little dog kennel will be in there. And then depending on, you know, obviously any extra little room we have, nooks and crannies here and there, we'll make shelves and so forth. Um, the bed, um, it will be up in this area. We haven't decided quite yet whether we're gonna do a flip out here and fill this space then with bed. Um, we're hoping maybe we can sleep east-west in this because uh, because we're short enough that we could just fill this spot for bed. But we'll see that a little more once we get the, the van here can actually lay some things out and kind of decide we'll build one piece at a time. So we also then use these boxes to kind of help us decide that. This is obviously one of our battery boxes. And there's two of them in there, so then they fit in that space. And then we've got the refrigerator box. And we'll then cover that space there. So this is where the refrigerator is going to go. Box is obviously bigger than the refrigerator, but so that's going to go in there. So it just helps us kind of judge where we're going to be size-wise. So that's our general layout. Um, I'd love to hear your comments if you have any thoughts about where things are going to go if you've been through this already. But hopefully it'll go as smooth as we think it will with all the planning.
So hope you enjoyed that. Let us know what you think of, are you in the works of planning out your van? Let us know how you're doing it. And I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was actually really cool. It helps me visualize of where things are going. And I kind of look at the details of the nitty gritty. Yeah, and, and then again, the finishes and how we'll do yeah. all that, put it together. The mechanical part, yeah, actually, nut and bolts, that's going to be mine. That's but nice. how we finish it is going to be up to Christine. Yeah, so that's where we're at. So make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Later! Later.